All right, guys, it's the moment of truth. So a few months ago, I told you that I was leaving Trello, my favorite platform, and getting on the Notion bandwagon. It's been a few months now, so I thought I would fill you guys in on what I'm thinking about it. So stick around. Okay, so here's what I love about Notion. I love that it's so open. It's kind of like a blank canvas. And we've talked about this before in the video where I told you that I was leaving Trello to go to Notion. It is a blank canvas. It allows my creativity to flow in ways that Trello just can't, right? I mean, Trello is set up in a very specific way and there are places where your creativity can come through, your card covers or your background or things like that, or, or even dash cards, which we've talked about before. But it's not the same as Notion where you can literally embed an image or um, you know create a, a cool collage for the top of the page and things like that that I've shown in previous videos. And I do love that aspect. I also love how easy it is to embed things like YouTube videos straight into your Notion page. And not only is it there as a link that you can go to, but it's literally interactable right there on the Notion page. So for someone like me who, and I've shown this in a previous video, but I love to use productivity mixes or even Pomodoro study session type videos to keep me on track, help keep me focused and help me get into the creative flow. And yes, when I'm on Trello, I can do that in a separate window, of course, but there's just something about it being in the exact same platform on the same page. Even from the mobile app, I can usually play straight from there. So there's just something about that that I really, really love about Notion. I also love its versatility. I mean, even within a specific database, the, the ability to just view it in so many different ways, to view the table version, to turn it into a card version that looks just like Trello, to see it as a calendar, to filter it really easily. I mean, there's a lot of really good things in the versatility there, as well as the ability to kind of nest. I don't know if you've used this yet, but in the tables, you can use parent and child tasks and kind of nest them underneath like a parent. So let's say you have a larger project and you want to um, nest the individual tasks underneath that larger project. I like being able to do that. You can do something similar to that in Trello, um, but it just doesn't function in quite the same way. And it's not quite as condensed as the way that it looks within Notion. So these are things that I'm liking about Notion. <sighs> now onto the things that I don't like about Notion. The first thing is their automation, or I should say lack thereof. So there is some automation. Of course, you can do formulas in Notion and they do now have the actual recurring task feature, but they still don't have recurring tasks with reminders. And reminders are a key part of how I stay on top of things and how I work my habit stacking and my habit tracking. So not having that built into the system is kind of a problem for me. And it's been causing me to have to go um, back and forth between Trello and Notion as I continue on my work. Um, additionally, there are a few of my boards that I've created in Trello that are really my automated processes, the things that keep me you know, on track without having to use as much brain power that I haven't found a good way to replicate in Notion. There are ways that I can make it kind of act similarly, but it's not as streamlined and it's certainly not as um, automated. Additionally, I've kind of been learning some kind of scary things about Notion in the Reddit community. It seems like their customer service is ugh, really not very good. Um, and I've honestly gone to some other sources as well, like Trust Pulse, and looked up their ratings, and they don't have a very good rating. A lot of people are saying kind of the same things that Notion doesn't really listen to you unless you are like a Notion influencer, like we talked about last week, like Thomas Frank or somebody like that. If you're those types of people, if you're at that level, then they listen to you. But people who are, you know, just regular old users like you and me, they don't really listen to our feedback as much. I've also been hearing a lot of things about people 
um, who are on premium accounts saying that they got charged for things they didn't expect, um, like overcharged, but then also there were kind of hidden fees. And also when they reached out to Notion to try to get a refund, um, they kind of got ghosted a little bit. And guys, here's the thing. I don't care how cool your platform is, but if your customer service is bad, then I don't want to support you. And I certainly don't want to trust you with my entire like business framework. So for me, for now, I'm going to be sticking with Trello. Uh, I will still be checking out Notion and playing around in it. And I will still be doing videos here and there as I learn new things and as they come out with new things. But as far as my business framework and my day to day, Trello is still going to be the way to go. For me, it's all about function over form. But I'm really curious to hear what you guys think. So are you using Trello? Are you using Notion? Are you trying out both? What are you thinking? Or maybe you even like something different, ClickUp, Asana, or Todoist, something like that. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite and why is it your favorite? The online tools for your business do not need to be complicated or overwhelming. It's time to let it be easy.